Today I will tell you about the war in which Gondor nearly fell. The Great Plague weakened Gondor and the Northmen. The Easterlings decided to take advantage of this. Many tribes banded together and traveled by wagon to Gondor. For this, the Easterlings were called the Wagon People. In the 1851st year of the Third Age, the Wagon People invaded Rovanian. The Northmen took the blow. Five years later, the Battle of the Plains took place. Prince Narmakil II of Gondor gathered an army and led it to the Rovanian territories south of Mirkwood. There the Gondorians were joined by the remnants of the northern army under the command of Marhari. A battle was fought on the plains. The Gondorians and Northmen were defeated. Prince Narmakil and Marhari fell. But the Dunedon army managed to retreat thanks to Marhari's horsemen fighting in the rearguard. Many Rovanionians and Northmen were enslaved by the Easterlings. Some fled to Dale. Some Northmen took refuge in Gondor. Other Northmen under the command of Marhari's son Marwini went up the Anjuan and settled between Carrick and the Iris Lowlands. As a result of the battle, Gondor lost its northern provinces and its borders were pushed to the Anjuan and the Iris Lowlands. The carriage men, blinded by their success, began to prepare an attack on Gondor, but Marwini learned of it. He informed Prince Calameter of Gondor. At the same time, Marwini passed on information about an impending rebellion in Rovanion. Calameter led an army out of Attilia, thus luring the wagon people out of Rovanion. The wagon men chased the Gondorians to the plain of Daggerlad, where a battle was fought. Calameter would have lost had it not been for the cavalry of Gondor and the eared Marwini attacking the Easterlings from the flank and rear. The defeated and retreating wagon men were pursued by the Marwini horsemen. Meanwhile, a rebellion had risen in Rovanion. The Northmen came out of Mirkwood and attacked the Wagoner settlements. But they were unable to retake Rovanion because all the women, children, and old men among the Wagoners took up arms. Many Northerners died defending their homes. After the alliance of the Easterlings suffered a crushing defeat at the hands of King Narmakil and King Marwini, the carriage people were inactive for a long time unless you count attacking the Eotheid who dwelt in the valley of the Anjuan. Sauron stirred up hatred of the Norse and Dúnedain among the Easterlings, and the carriage men joined with the Khans and the Herodrim to attack Gondor. The Easterlings and Candians struck from the northeast and the Herodrim attacked from the south. General Irnil advanced to meet the southern forces, and Ondoger and his sons Artemir and Faramir went to the plain of Daggerlad, hoping to lure the enemy there. The fortresses on the west bank of the Anjuan were well guarded, and this excluded the possibility of crossing the Easterlings. The Easterlings did not come from the north, but from the east. They were ahead of the Gondorians and had fortified themselves near the gates of Mordor. As the Gondorians approached Morinan, Ondoger ordered Menachter, commander of the army's right flank, to meet the first onslaught of the enemy and cover the left flank, but the order was not carried out in time. A large number of Easterling wagons crashed at high speed into the ranks of the Gundor army, for which the Dunedins were unprepared. The prince and his guards fortified themselves on a low hill, but the wagon men, spotting the king's banner, threw their main forces at him. The Easterlings overwhelmed the guards, and then Ondoger and Art Amir fell. The scattered army of Gundor was pushed south, with some of the army driven into the hollow swamps. The Eotheid were also defeated. As the army retreated in disarray, Menachter took command. He unfurled his banner and, gathering the remaining troops, sent a messenger to Adrahil, the commander of the right wing. Adrahil was ordered to entrench himself between Cairo Andrus and the Isgar Mountains. Adrahil was also to send a messenger to Irnil to move north immediately. After retreating to the northern Athelians, Menachter wanted to send a messenger to Minas Tirith to Faramir but it turned out that he had disguised himself as a warrior and participated in the Battle of Morinon, and died after being surrounded in the hibernating swamps. This was reported by the leader of the Yodiod. Minocter's army briefly held off the wagon people and was eventually defeated. Minocter's body was carried to Adrahil by the few survivors. The wagon men did not pursue the fleeing party. They believed that Gondor had been defeated and feasted in northern Athelia. Meanwhile, Irnil, who had received the message, 
moved north and joined Adrahill's army. This army attacked the resting wagon people, an event dubbed the Battle of the Camp, and defeated them, many Easterlings being driven into the Gibral swamps. Irnil II later became king of Gondor, and the Easterlings forgot about attacking Gondor for many years. The alliance of tribes called the Wagon People was broken. Have a good day, everyone. Put likes, write comments, and subscribe to the channel.